Hello again. <clears throat> I made a backup of my saves. <laughs> In case I want to... I want to um, do other endings quick quickly later. <laughs> Basically. I thought maybe I I accidentally gave this guy the tonic of forgetfulness, but I didn't. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, yeah, I made a backup just in case I want to go back and do the other endings quickly, just for achievements or whatever, right? Or just to see them in game rather than on YouTube. Because I will probably be playing at least one more time, but just in, I just wanted to have that option. So why not? So I think, and I and I got all the other achievements like with all legendary weapons and stuff. So I, I just have, I believe, I only have the endings achievements left, basically. Which means, I think we can go f finish the game. Finally, after a month, more than a month of intense playing. Like, really intense playing, you know, for someone with a full-time job and, and, and being married and stuff. Basically playing every chance I got. Having close to 150 hours in the game. Good luck, behold stars. So, yeah. It's been a ride. It's been a ride. A bit bumpy. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> like sometimes literally with all the stutters and everything. Yep. We are back. We are back here. But overall, pretty damn good. I was talking with my friend a lot. <laughs> we were talking about the game. And I think in the end I concluded that as far as Souls formula goes, I still prefer the older games and the old, like, semi-open world design, right? Or, like, quasi-open world design, even. Because what I miss the most in this game is more frequent, very tense boss fights. Because they are here, and Malenia, of course, being, you know, on a level of her own, but they are rare, like they feel really rare because you get so much else to do in the world. There's so much space between all, all those tense boss fights. And what and they try to fill the gap with all the you know generic boss fights in catacombs and stuff, but they but they are just that they're generic, right? And you get tired of fighting the same ones over and over again. Like I don't want to fight a, a single more ulcerate tree spirit, like like we we fought those guys so many times already, right? Oh wait, uh, I forgot to give the bell bearing of Corhan. Maybe there's like a new item there or something, and then we can go. <laughs> Right? So, you like, you do the, all the exploration, it's all nice and relaxing, and then all of a sudden you, you, you find Malenia and you're like, whoa, it's like a super slap in the face all of a sudden, right, to wake you up. While in Dark Souls it was expected, you'll eventually reach another boss, right, and it's going to be another intense fight, and of course they were easier, there were harder bosses and stuff. But it definitely didn't feel this abrupt, right? It's the, the way the way I was trying to to put my thoughts on it is that the open world design and the exploration like kind of go against the boss design a little bit, the Souls boss design, right? This tense fights that you have to get through somehow, right? They kind of, they don't really go well together, I I feel, almost. The 
It's like one, one, one moment you're, you know, picking up flowers, like, you know, doing some relaxing exploration, seeing something fascinating, and all of a sudden you arrive like at a, at a massive wall of a boss that, you know, ter tears you to shreds and you're like, oh, okay. <laughs> Like two different games kind of smashed together, it, it almost feels like. He's returned, the Lord has returned at long last. Our, fir our very first Lord brandished the Elden Ring once more. Why are there so many blast things here? Are people jumping off here for some reason? <laughs> Oh wait, how do we how do we get there? Uh oh 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 okay, right. <laughs> I forgot. I forgot completely. So I love exploration in this game, like I absolutely loved exploring and the world, probably the best open world ever made so far, at least for me, like it's just full of wonder, like you don't need like a million marks on the map telling you where to go, you just, you know, look, oh there's like something like that looks like ruins here, maybe I should go and see what it is, that's a brilliant idea by the way, um, that is superb, but bosses I feel like super uneven, like you have a handful of really good bosses, and every, everything else is super, like, generic, right? Like, because they had to spend so much time and resources to make those generic bosses, so you have something to fight in all those catacombs and caves and, and whatnot, it feels like, you know, it was taken away from designing, like, you, like a bunch of unique bosses and stuff. Like, yeah, there's, like, 80 unique bosses in the game so far, but... Or something, apparently, right? But, like, maybe 10 of them are... are memorable. Like there is this kind of whatever. So in that sense, I think the the the, the classic soul design from previous games kind of marries the the two worlds, like the exploration and the boss fighting, the best I think. Like this would be this game would be much better if it had a, a lot more unique bosses and more like powerful bosses, like more quality rather than you know. So repeating the same ones. If that is even possible to design, right? So many good bosses and, and whatever. Still a great game, but... Sometimes it just feels like it's at, it, at odds. Tree heal. Like, the des you know, the, the designs inside the game kind of are, are kind of competing with each other, it feels like, sometimes. One of the ancient Eritrean incantations. The earth tree once flourished with abundance, yet it was only for a fleeting moment, such as the curse of all life. No dialogue of anyone? There's the last boss. Elden Ring. Oh, Elden Ring. Yeah. Okay, how do we do this? Um, I guess we can play of ours by Hunter, why not? Let's see. Hello? Who are you? Arika? Radagan? It's been a long while, Morgoth. When? <laughs> Who 
win, is that you? Where's the Godfrey? Long and hard didst thou fight. Tarnished warrior. Spurned by the grace of gold. Be assured the Elden Ring resteth close at hand. Alas, I am returned. But who are you? Godfrey? To be granted audience once more. Yeah, that's Godfrey. I the thing. <laughs> well, I thought his specter is like upon my name yeah. as Godfrey. The first Elden Lord. And how did he return? Like I, I no, remember nothing from his first fight. Paying attention to his attacks earlier at all. <laughs> no way, I think I would have time for more than one attack there. <laughs> Probably phase two as well. Hmm. Hmm. Getting, I'm guessing, Bloodhouse Fang is going to be good against this guy too. They should be stay close.
Thanks for doing something a lot, eh? Yeah, that's <laughs> all he does basically. <laughs> Phase two. <clears throat> and we fight the lion. <laughs> That's Zorosh or whatever his name was. That will be all. Thou didst me good service. Zorosh, not Zorosh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a weird cutscene with a lot of face to black. Hmm. <clears throat> I've given thee courtesy enough. Damn. <laughs> Are you barbarian now? <laughs> what the hell? Now I fight just horror. Horalu. Okay, so I guess that was your original name or something. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> uh... Okay, a bunch of crabs. Oh jeez, okay. <laughs> you have to run away from that real fast or crawl at the right time. Alright. <laughs> Interesting fight. Okay, so the first phase is all about <laughs> stumps basically, right? <laughs> And so Max hits. The second phase is guy running around and more, even more stomps. Oh. Oh, he could do that. Two hits. Jesus. <laughs> tried to heal, but he just keeps on going. Okay. I thought, I thought that would be the, the axe one, but... Oh, so he does like another small hit that transforms into a big, big one? Okay. damage. It'll be like a one shot or something. Okay. 
very likely that he's going to do... Okay, let's take one more of those. Okay. When he does this, it's going to be the storm. So you have to wait with the roll. So I'm thinking it's going to be the fast, like, axe charge, but I guess most of the times it's going to be the stomp, so the roll needs to be late. Excuse me. Good at hitting sometimes, is he? Okay. This attack continues there. Still continues, damn. It's not a combo. So he does that like suddenly sometimes? Really? Hmm. There's like two spins? Is just super aggressive and tries to catch you all the time. Okay, our weapon is going to be terrible against him. So I, I think I'm just going to switch to Bloodhound's Fang because we need faster attacks, basically. <clears throat> this guy is just. Again, kind of, kind of like Malenia a little bit, where he just const constantly goes at you, like never gives you a moment to do anything, and you need to attack him quickly. Greedy <laughs> for no reason.
<laughs> yeah, it's just because he has grabs. Grabs the boss. That's what he does. You don't want to get hit by that. Got the martial artist. <laughs> yeah, it's like all he does is he just goes at you constantly. <laughs> like, no, not. <laughs> so I guess you need to stay around him, right? Otherwise, just dodge his grabs constantly. Otherwise, you just keep chasing you and you know just not, don't have time to heal, anyways. <laughs> uh, whatever you find. Just basically, all he does is he try to grab. He's trying to grab you. <laughs> That's all he does. Gonna be refined. Oh god, <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, problem is, yeah, if you stay next to him, like, you need to perfectly time the, the dodge for that big slam. Okay, phase 2 is super annoying. <laughs> I'll get there. It's not nearly as hard as Malenia was. It's gonna take some time.
keep doing that. there for no reason. <laughs> Got them Grand Slam. Hate that ability. Like you have to it's kinda similar to what Grank was doing with his uh stone abilities. Like you have to either roll outside of it or like roll into it at the perfect timing. Otherwise it will catch you. But apparently jumping works well against that, but not used to that. It's a good timing for that. It's not hard to know like when you are in danger of getting grabbed. Like it grabs like it feels like he grabs you from really far away <laughs> somehow. Like it's yeah. Gets me every time. Like I really don't know when he's about to grab me. Should I just run away? Should I just try to time the roll? I don't know.
Okay, that didn't go well. Okay, let's go for one hitters. We know when we can do like more than that. Let's not not get caught in those weird. Like it's not like we need a lot of flask for second phase because second phase is full of one shots. Or close to one shots anyways, because he just grabs you all the time. So we need to learn to do second phase more or less more or less perfectly. So we can actually kinda smash through the first phase, I guess. To an extent. So the first way first phase doesn't really teach me much for the second one. It's like a completely different boss. Yeah, like, is it a roll catch? Like this time there was no this attack. So it's like two similar ones. One where he's like slowing down a little, and that is like a good indication to roll. And this one that felt like a roll catch almost. There's no time slow this time, right? He just caught me because I lost iframes. Maybe you're just supposed to run away from him when he does that, I don't know. He's annoying. It's, again, he gives you like almost zero time to heal. And just pressures you all the time. So you kinda lose your composure <laughs> trying to run away and then he one shoots you with a grab. Really? to recognize like a follow up when he does the big thing. I don't see that or don't remember which at the at the end of which combo he does that. This one I guess? 
Right. Okay, so yeah. Wait. <laughs> yeah. Run, 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 run. Okay. Heal? My god, I didn't do anything I wanted to do. I wanted to target lock and heal, but I couldn't do anything. Those. Thanks, controller, I guess. Still live somehow. <laughs> okay, that was like a two hits there. <sighs> I don't know if it's the cables or whatever. Like, I was trying to control. I was trying to target lock him and heal, and I didn't do any of those actions, apparently. I just kept running like an idiot. <laughs> okay. Okay, I think I'm getting it slowly, but... It's annoying nonetheless, because you have, like, no time to think. Basically, in that, you just keep running away from him or dodging the attacks. Oh, really? That was still the AoE there. Huh. I was clearly out of it, at least when it comes to textures, but I guess it's, the hitbox is wider than that. Okay. <laughs> cool. Cool, yeah.
Okay, I'm running away from that's the bad idea, especially like like this. It's way better off just running there, right? Let's not get clipped by this AoE. Ah, <sighs> excuse me. sometimes, eh? This is so... Cannot allow him to get grabbed. Like, if he can grab you, it's over. Like, it's mo more, more than often over. Because it takes most of your HP, and then you're running away in panic to heal, and then he catches you like this. <laughs> oh, man. Stupid fight. <laughs> I'm having a lot of troubles recognizing like what I'm supposed to roll to, to avoid the grab. not worth trying to roll that big AoE because then it screws you over. I'm not. Okay, this guy's tough too. Yeah, I mean the second phase is super tough for me. Like I am I'm having a lot of troubles recognizing where to roll the grabs. The two-handed ones. I have to learn that otherwise <laughs> I'm not getting through that fight.
the hitbox of this is insanely big. I guess I, I guess I just should learn to dodge it. That's it. <laughs> uh, okay. I'm just when he does, I just run away from him. That's it. I don't know why I'm getting caught in it so much now. I was fine before. Maybe because I'm trying to stay in qu close quarters all the time. What's happened to me? Come on, refocus. You beat Malenia. This guy is this guy should not be a problem to you. <laughs> okay, I got the second phase and like what second attempt or first attempt? But now I'm having trouble all of a sudden. guy is basically roll catch one on one. <laughs> like he'll do everything to catch you to catch you rolling too too early. Like he's it's all he's all about that. This is like the quintessence of roll catch. All of his attacks are designed to catch you rolling too early. You kind of chain locking damage. Don't roll fast enough afterwards. I never seen it do this twice though. Like this stomp twice. Yeah, what the hell? I've never seen that happening for. when this happens. I think it's the easiest way to deal with that. Yeah. Okay, we want to go to the left when he does that. When do you dodge that? When he crosses his arms or something? Oh yeah, okay, when he crosses his arms then it is. Nope. 
There we go, Jesus. <laughs> Thy strength. <sighs> hate this fight. Poor Lou, absolutely hate this fight. And I was only trying to K. <laughs> wow. Malenia was close to 500k, right? <laughs> and even the the Lord of Blood was like 450 or something. Okay, that was just an annoying fight, really, because these grabs are super... I don't know. I had a lot of trouble dodging them and <laughs> finding the right timing. And he just keeps going at you, right? Like, he never stops. Like, the only time you have for heal is when he roars or after he does the, like, the super ground slam, right? If you manage to avoid it properly. Or when he does the, you know, the, the big steps. But he doesn't do them that all that often. Most of the times he just keeps running at you and try to grab you. <laughs> try to grab you, right? Anything change here? Did we get anything? Gideon? Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, at the end of everything, only those two are still alive. <laughs> Just kinda... <laughs> I see. They are the only two left alive in this place. <laughs> Golden Throne. Okay. I'm guessing there will be at least one more boss, right? That surely wasn't the final boss. Coldness ahead. All the more, let there be death. Weak foe ahead and then strong foe ahead. Okay. All over ahead. Back tarnish. All the more, don't give up. Okay, so this is the final boss. Let's find out. Touch golden light. Uh Ooh, I remember this from trailers. This is the other ring. Marika? That's Marika. Uh That is Marika. Hmm. Um. That do be Queen Marika. Wait, Radagon? I'm confused. <laughs> there it is. Right, Marika is Radagon, right? Or Radagon is Marika? <laughs> Radagon of the Golden Order, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Don't try to chill, dude. from that. Of course he has heal catch. Every boss in this game has a heal catch apparently. Yeah, Lorian. Sure. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, kinda cool fine. Yeah, let's not use our our step. It's not, not serving me here very well. Instead, let's just learn to roll his attacks properly. I'm guessing this is phase one only, right? And that would be phase two, full full HP bar. Feels like that. We need to skip cutscene every time. So why not? Fast, faster than it looks. Yeah. Hmm. Can't really punish it either. This is instant. What the hell? Okay, this has a long charge and sudden attack. In front of you, like this, eh? Double, okay. Yeah, this is like nearly instant. Sort of punished. Okay. 
The explosion is too big to punish that, most of the time, I think. this. Ah, Elden Ring. Are you forging Elden Ring on me here? A lot of attacks though. <laughs> a lot of attacks to remember. <clears throat> so phase one, eh? This guy's yeah, a bit difficult too. Thankfully he doesn't heal. <laughs> Thankfully he doesn't heal. I guess we want more Estus for this. Oh yeah, we want holy damage reduction, that's for sure. Bad axe is greedy. getting punished. Okay, let's, let's optimize our talismans. Also, the thing about many bosses is in this game, hey, let's give the player a healing mechanic, right? And then, hey, let's give bosses million heal catches, <laughs> so you cannot use your healing mechanic. Start to use this. Pretty sure this holy damage. Looks like that anyways. Him doing an attack, but you see that. <laughs>
Thank you, flashes of light. <laughs> could, could not tell what was what was going there. Like, it's just flashes of light and then teleporting at the same time. Jesus. Double roll at the right time, right? Double that attack. Different attack angles? Different timing? That was kind of too early. Yeah, I need to learn the timing of those those things. I guess I'm too early, right? Or maybe there are, I don't know, there's the impact zone, there's the early OE, and then there's later OE. There's like three damage timings there. It's hard to tell. I think Holy Damage Reduction is doing a lot of work here. Touch the side. Okay, this one you also want to just touch to the left, I guess. Okay, another one just in there. Early, right? Mm, got them teleports though. Because he also damages you when he reappears. Like staggering you. Throws you off, right? It's like very it's a very confusing fight, that's for sure. <laughs> uh... I have to learn the timing of the of the plunge. Of the first roll, right? And then I have to remember to roll the second time, I guess, or I don't know. Run away from that? 
like to the millennia treatment. I am kind of underneath him all the time, I think, anyways. Okay, I see. I see now. What is this? Oh, really? Okay, so it goes even wider than the, the original hit? Or the original area? Didn't know that. Okay, I'm too late. It's too late here. Oh. Interesting. Okay. We're doing well. Like, we only use four flasks because we have so few times to heal. But you don't even... Yeah. <laughs> you, don't have, you, don't, you don't need all those flasks, I guess. Because the fight will not... The guy will not let you heal anyways. That's my problem with... With the design bosses in this game, like they do that way too often. Like, I know it can be done without getting hit, but you know. I'm not Lobos, so I would like to use my heals. <laughs> Wonder all at the time. So fast, Jesus. Okay. Yep, eleven flasks left. <laughs> it's just no time to use them. No time to use them.
do this every time for no reason. to grab. I guess I was always getting caught in, in, the, in this AoE and, the, and not the grab itself. The AoE comes earlier before the... For the slam. We have to dodge super early. one very much looks like phase one <laughs> yeah phase one <laughs> it's probably the easy one right given two-handed sword? Ooh. 
What the hell? And a lot of earth trees. Elden Beast. Yeah, this is phase two, eh? Okay, uh, dragon from Sekiro. <laughs> Forgot you, that you guys seen already. It's very much that, isn't it? Huh. Okay, this fight is beautiful. And ton of earth trees, eh? What happened? <laughs> Elden Beast. Okay, this is two, one, one. Hmm. Okay. Again, getting through Radagon is going to be a pain. <laughs> Uh, with a lot of flasks for that guy, eh? Yeah, we need holy damage reduction, which we have. Ugh. We look too bad. <laughs> Okay, since this is the final boss, we may as well use, you know, all the things that we can use. Um, I don't even know what's gonna be good against this guy. I guess Blood Grease again? <laughs> we have a lot of it, so we may as well. Thing is so stupidly delayed and like <laughs> Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? It's kinda like that. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> K 
Okay, so blood doesn't do anything. So what else can we use there? I don't know, what do we have? <laughs> Probably not holy. Rot? Like 10. Let's try. Let's try different things. So we can get through this first phase quicker with more flasks left. Second one, so we can learn some attacks. signal for that like how do you know <laughs> he's going he's actually going to hit like I was trying to to see it but it's it just right like that there is no there is no indication that I can see that he's about to do it and you're and you need to roll am I supposed to count <laughs> like how for how long he's doing that Like, this game is heavily overusing those attacks. Okay, so just run to him and it's easy peasy then. Yeah. Maybe I see it now. Oh, nice. Good. Some busks, nice. Great as always.
is this one. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? Run away from this? Yes. So, zoom, 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 roll, 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 <laughs> run. <laughs> Going to be, okay, gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> Maybe we can, like, magic shield that? Do we have, like, a solid magic shield? Or holy, right? It's probably race of holy, let's see. I don't think we do. Shielding through, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah... 70? 75 is like the, hard, the highest, we don't have 100. Okay. okay, screw that, we have to roll that. <laughs> roll just run, basically, right? Road Chris is also not doing much. I think. Expecting that stomp there at all. I'm expecting this or this, right? But not the stomp. It really catches me on guard. The other one <laughs> of those attacks. <clears throat> so again, somehow, sometimes the stomp, and I'm not expecting that whatsoever because I'm thinking it's going to be another delayed attack. Yeah, first phase feels. Harder than the second one, for me at least. Which I guess is a good thing. Yeah, I'm not, not expecting that.
Oh wait, really? What? Why? Why? Cap Blockon? Blockon's coming over there? Or what? <laughs> Not expecting to get in there at all. super annoying is that you lose lock on with attacks like this every now and again. Really throws me off. Yeah. You're doing well until we weren't. <laughs> to touch that. Okay. Three flasks. <laughs> Something. I guess it opens with the fire brief. Yeah. Again. Avoid by running behind them. This is going to do now. Okay, it's this one. I don't think we can just sprint. I think we'll eventually have to roll. Even we have to roll, run to the side. this weird attack. Okay, I just have to run away from the center, I guess? Is this again going to the this? <laughs> I see, okay. Okay, we learned that. Now swords attack, I guess. Or nothing. I have no idea what was that. Explosive, so you have to dodge that, but then heal the swords. We have to be ready for that. Okay. Alright. So I think we got most of the attacks that I saw mostly figure out. It's just now this now, now it's just the execution. And getting through Radagon with some flasks left so we can practice the second phase a bit more.
Oh, okay, it's like a continuous damage zone. But that was early enough. Of course, there's no pulse. Just goes in, goes ham the moment we get up. So there's no time to heal. Yeah, the. <laughs> Radagon is, I think, a bit more of a problem for me than the second phase. Right, we have to do this every time. What's the point? Is quick stomp and slow stomp, right? And those two are kind of combining to me right now. Lightning also doesn't seem to do anything in particular, so. That's early. This I'm going too late. I didn't even get the range to, go, to get me there. this thing. Uh, I guess 
me or just run to the center or something. Run run away from the from where we are. My best guess. We're doing a lot of running. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, last one is delayed. Of course it's delayed. Lady we Difference. I was new. I didn't see this one before. What the hell is going on? What is this? What is this attack? Why it never ends? Uh, what the hell? Excuse me, what? How do I deal with that? <laughs> uh, like, does it ever end? Excuse me, what? <laughs> What was that? Okay, that's a new attack and we have no idea how to how to deal with it. Stump is always followed up on. Up on. Stump is longer, just still forget.
I could run into into his into his legs before. No, I couldn't apparently. Not to get hit by the ring, but it's rolling at the wrong time. Lots of running in this fight, that's for sure. this Aha, what is going on like it just never ends what do you do with this what are you supposed to do with this it never ends do you just keep running from it but then you have to roll the, the, the everything else that he's doing what do you do with this? Just run away from him as far as possible and he casts that? How the hell do you deal with that attack? Okay, I guess once you figure that out we have the fight in... done. Unless there is more of course. Stump. Yeah. Now I see the stump and I'm like, okay, dodge, but nope. Slow stomp. God. <laughs> A 
It's doing this too late every time. Yeah. yeah. That thing kills me very often. So I think when he does that, I just run away, right? Because then at least I don't get one shot. And if I roll back early, worst case scenario, I'll get hit by AoE, but I will not get grabbed. Or I get good and <laughs> learn the timing, but... You see, how do you deal with that last attack? It's like, never-ending spells attacking you, right? Like, it never seems to end. Like, no matter how much I roll or dodge, it just get hit anyways. dodging this right, but apparently it's wrong, right? Like, I'm dodging it right when he does the, the thing, but that, that is apparently too early or too late, I don't know. Okay, I see him going down already, I roll, but then he just grabs me, so I don't know. I guess it's still too early. <sighs> Yeah, the second phase, except for that new attack that I have no idea how to deal with. Like, yeah, Radagon is much harder for me. <laughs> sure. Holy one, it's gonna be long.
Yeah, you have to roll that way earlier than the animation would suggest. I don't know. It's kind of like this thing. Oh, really? Yeah, sometimes I get in like really bad. <laughs> Bad chains of events, so to speak. Uh, and with this guy, just gets him killed. Sometimes it flows nicely. Get to the second phase quickly. I guess he's a mix up, Maximus. Slow, fast, slow, fast, catch. Ugh. <laughs> If you roll that early, you'll get hit by the UE, though, huh? Sometimes follows that up, not always. The problem. Yeah, sometimes he just recovers, does nothing, right? I deal with that attack. <laughs> it's like the worst attack to figure out because it's like all bright when, when he does that. Kind of hard to tell what's going on. Jump that brain? Okay. Oh, okay. I see. Jump it. 
I get this one? I glow super late or roll 20? Yeah, what happened here? doing a lot of weird things there. No idea what, but... It's this thing, right? Like, what do I do with it? Did he just run from me? It all caught, caught up on me. What do I do with it? Just run from it? Literally, that's it? My god. There must be a better way of dealing with that, right? Hopefully he doesn't do that again. That's this one. <laughs> okay. I see. Nice from Nice. <laughs> That's a very interesting mechanic. Do we have to jump multiple times there? Correctly. Give me out a sprint button if you go if you're gonna make me run so much. Get it? Yeah! <laughs> Phase 3? God slain, okay. <laughs> that was kind of anti anticlimactic end to it, but... Uh... Summon Rani. Right. Ah, tarnished. I did it, praise the close quarters battle. <laughs> praise the tarnished. Yeah, that's, that one attack, like, it's like, what the hell? Is this... But it doesn't do, do much damage, right? So it seems like it's designed to, I don't know, slow you down? While everything else happens and kind of kills you? I, don't, I wonder how it's... What is... How are you supposed to deal with it properly? Touch grace. Oh, so I guess I can do stuff before I finish the game. Elden Remembrance. Remembrance of the Elden Beast held to the Yerge Tree. It was the vassal beast of the greater will and living incarnation of the concept of order. Vassal Beast of the Greater Will. Huh. Living incarnation of the concept of order. Okay, so I'm guessing... <laughs> Fractured Marika is called this location. What the hell? Yeah, because... Like, Radagon had boobs, right? Radagon had boobs at the beginning. 
That's Marika. So Radagon is Marika. Is they are one and the same? Kinda. Okay, can I? <laughs> I guess we can go and see the remembrance. Yeah, also cool last boss. Again, doesn't hold a candle to Malenia. <laughs> That was hard, don't get me wrong. I was struggling with Radagon a lot, but. Valenia was like Radagon plus Super Radagon, right? <laughs> if I had to go through that, that would be much harder than what we had. I think we have anything extra here, right? Elden Lord Crown. Crown of Godfrey, the first Elden Lord. The age of the Earth Tree began amongst conflict when Godfrey was Lord of the Battlefield. He led the war against the giants, faced the Storm Lord alone. And then there came a moment when his last worthy enemy fell, and it was then, as the story is told, that the, that the hue of Lord Godfrey's eyes faded. Because he didn't have anyone to fight anymore? Get his... Oh yeah, we did that armor. Okay. It's the same. Uh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, wait, I didn't check this one at all. Remembrance of Horalu. When Godfrey, first Elden Lord, was robbed of his grace, becoming tarnished. Oh! He took with him his kinfolk and left the lands between. After the long march of the Tarnished came to an end, Godfrey di divested himself of kingship, becoming a simple warrior once more. When Godfrey, the first Eleanor, was robbed of his grace, becoming Tarnished, he took with him his kinfolk and left the lands between. After the long march of the Tarnished came to an end, once we divested himself of kingship, becoming a simple warrior once more. Huh. Interesting. So does this suggest that we were also like Elden Lords? Elden Lord in the past and now we are reclaiming our title or something? Axe of Godfrey. Weapon of Godfrey, Elden Lord. It was broken in a battle fought as the leader of the Tarnish during the Long March. This weapon is symbolic of Godfrey's vow to conduct himself as a lord, later becoming an emblem of the Golden Lineage. In the days of the past, a crown was warranted with strength. <laughs> Horalu, Earthshaker. Horalu's Earthshaker. Slam both hands onto the ground, violently shake the earth and unleash a shockwave. Yep. Marika's hammer. Yeah, so it was Marika and Radagon in one. Stone hammer made in the lands of, of the Numen outside the lands between. The tool with which Queen Marika shattered the Elden Ring and Radagon attempted to repair it. So Marika shattered the Elden Ring. Huh. So why do we fight Radagon if Radagon is trying to repair the Elden Ring? Because he wanted our shards to, re to, to restore it or something? The tool with which Queen Marika shattered the Elden Ring and Radagon attempted to repair it. The hammer partially broke upon shattering the ring, becoming splintered with rune fragments. Huh. Gold breaker. Clean up high end while suspending the meter, imbue the rune shard with light before smashing it down hard on the ground. The heroic Radagon's signature attack. Yep, 
Probably damage. <laughs> that was right. Queen Marika shattered the Elden Ring. Rather than attempt to repair it. Huh. Sacred Relic Sword. Great sword. So wrought from the remains of a god who should have lived a life eternal. Oh yeah, this is the, the second phase is I think. Thoughts on what the weapon portents are many and varied. Some consider it the mark of a great sin or a sign of a great devastation. Some think it as the end of an age, while others the beginning. Hmm, <laughs> way of gold. Even the sword of a bygone golden glory, then fire it at foes. A wide golden wave fans out forward, sipping through all enemies caught in its path. Because they're cave weapons. Hmm. Damn. On both. Let me go and copy them real quick. Are you still alive or are you also dead now? Oh, you're still fine. I see. Yeah, it's kind of funny that we can actually do all this still. <laughs> Take our time before actually seeing the credits. Oh wait, we used this one already. I forgot to... The icon. So we can still use this one. Oh. <laughs> I need you. So we only have se uh, seven of those. So we can only copy seven remembrances in one playthrough, but we obviously have a lot more than that. <coughs> Twelve or something, right? Oh, right. I know why Radagon is fighting me. So assuming... That Marek shattering Elden Ring is good, right? Then Radagon fighting us makes sense, right? Because he he was trying to repair it and so sort of take our shattered rune, take our runes, and and repair it and, and stuff, right? And and that's why the two fingers sent us to to gather the runes to help Radagon basically to repair the Elden Ring. Yeah, that makes sense if we assume that Marika is good, quote-unquote, or what she did was good, or was done for a good reason, right? And Radagon is trying to restore the old order, basically. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. Decently looking. Although you get it, you know, once you've defeated everything there was to defeat, pretty much. And 
this this if only the sword looked better if i could transmog it in, into like a into Zwei hunter i would be that would be the best or if i could give Zwei hunter like a similar combat art or something i'm not really i mean the current great swords have like the best i think like super great, super anima great animations and attacks in general, because they hit hard, but they are also fairly fast. So I think I find my new favorite <laughs> weapon style in Souls games. Okay, Let's see the end. But before that, let me pee. <laughs> All right, <laughs> now let's see the end. Uh, Jesus. 144 hours, 145 hours. <laughs> Longest single playthrough I ever had in any game, I think. Like the second longest was probably Persona 5. That was also like over 100 hours. But I don't think any game in one playthrough reached like 140 <laughs> or 100, close to 150. Jesus. And we still probably didn't like fully like 100% everything, right? So we could still just keep playing and like find everything and stuff. But I think that's gonna be enough for this playthrough. Touch Fractured Marika. <laughs> Right, yeah. So this is Marika that turns into Radagon to fight you, apparently. Okay. We promised Rani, she's our waifu. <laughs> We're gonna go with this. <laughs> yeah, so this is kind of like... Like there's those three endings, right? Where you could summon... Firekeeper. Rani is almost like our firekeeper in this situation. Let's go. The battle is over, I see. I do solemnly swear to every living being and every living soul 
Now cometh the age of the stars. <laughs> A thousand year voyage under the wisdom of the moon. Here beginneth the chill night that encompasses all, reaching the great beyond. Into fear, doubt, and loneliness. As the path stretcheth into darkness. So beautiful. Mm hmm. Let us go together. <laughs> yeah. This is the Firekeeper ending, basically. Just my favorite from Dark Souls 3. My dear Consort Eternal. Consort Eternal. Lovely. <laughs> Yep. Boy, oh boy. <laughs> World created by Hidetaka Miyazaki and George R. R. Martin. And I did you notice that most of the names of, of enemies in the game or characters start either at G, M, or R? Like, you know, George R. R. Martin? <laughs> Godfrey, Godfrey, Godwin. Wait, in the end, we never really had Godwin anymore. And then you have Radagon, Rani, Rikard, <laughs> Radan, and then obviously M, which is like the most prevalent. Melina, Malenia, Millicent, uh, Muriel, Marika. And there's a few more. Malekith. I wonder if they did that on purpose. <laughs> there are very few names of important characters that start on a different letter. Like we have like Gideon, Roderica, Hugh, or Hulk, Ho, Ho, whatever that the Blacksmith's name was. There's Yer. But those are all like NPCs, right? Like the the like the ally NPCs are all kinda unique, but the all the like I don't know the demigods or everybody related to the demigods is like those three letters basically. <laughs> For some reason. Oh yeah, more gods. Margit, another M. Mikaela. There's like shit on the M's. Wait, so the Godfrey was like Hori Lu or whatever, so is he. So is Nefeli like a descendant of that of that guy? Probably. Good game, good game. I need to think about where I where I would place it. It's probably not um together because my favorite I have two favorites, it's Bloodborne and Dark Souls 3, kinda of more or less at the same place. Because I love both of them for different things. But I think this is still below that. Like, it's a fantastic open world game. Like, the open world is. Mwah, I loved exploring it. Like, it was full of wonder. Like, the fir especially the, like, the first 60 hours were amazing. Like, everything was new. Everything was like, whoa, what is this? Whoa, wow, wow. Like, I did, I did that a lot. But as a Souls game, yeah, I had a few issues with it. <laughs> 
Like, the open world kind of goes against a lot of the Souls games. A lot of the things I, I think that make Souls games great. Where exploration is fun because it's also because it's tense, right? Like, it's not a vast world to, to, to explore. But because of, of how tense it is, like, you, and, like, you know, you kind of enjoy every moment and every shortcut you find. Every bonfire you find and, and so on. Because you're like... Oh, finally, I have a shortcut, right? And then you go and explore more. And then you know there will be a boss at the end of the level that you will have to get through to, to continue, right? And there is like very limited ways of farming and getting stronger unless you really, really want to farm, right? So I think that design like worked hand in hand, like, you know, semi-open, quasi-open world, like very tight. And, and design with a, lo a lot of tension, right? Together with the boss fights that he had to get through. But here we have this very relaxed, almost, right? Open world exploration that is every now and again interrupted, like suddenly by a super hot, tough boss, <laughs> right? And you're like, Whoa. it's like a super rude awakening. Because you're not used to it, because you're used to just running around and smashing easy bosses in catacombs, and then all of a sudden you have to face like a really powerful one, and it's just, you're, you're just switching to, you have to switch a completely different way of, I don't know, playing or something. Almost. So it, it, it does feel to me like it's a bit at odds, those two things. That's how I feel, anyways. If you enjoyed it, if, if, if you, you know, think otherwise, that's perfectly fine, right? Like, that's how I feel about the game. Oh, but the absolute, the best, absolute best thing about the game is characters and story. I think they nailed, they, they nailed or like very close to nailing like the Souls storytelling, the Souls, you know, type storytelling. Where we had just enough extra exposit, like, you know, direct, non-cryptic exposition from the characters, like Gideon, just telling you things directly, right? While still not being, not sounding like overly gamified, like Sekiro did. <laughs> Sekiro had kind of bad story, if you ask me, but and bad, bad characters and dialogues, but here they did like, a, I think, like close to perfect job and kind of mixing you know, like straight exposition and just telling you what what you need to do with the souls, you know, like mysteriousness and obscurity and stuff. Where you had to where you have to figure things out yourself and piece the story together. Like I still don't understand the story fully, right? And honestly I'm not that deep into lore. Like this game is the deepest I ever was I I ever was into lore, I think, of Souls games. Where I really wanted to know like oh, Okay, so what's happening, right? And I'm talking with my friend a lot about it. And I and I'm I'm guessing we we're gonna talk a lot and I'm gonna ask him about many things because he's he is much more into lore than I am and he has he's better at deciphering it too <laughs> than I am and piecing piecing things together. But the characters, like overall, great. Like the great quests, especially running quests is the highlight of the game. But the is great was great too. The whole Volcanic Manor was interesting. Volcanic Manor felt like very traditional, almost like a very traditional quest quest line, like from like RPG quest line. What else? Millicent was very interesting too. Like leading 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 to Malenia. Yeah, overall characters. Great, like the best characters ever in in all from game from games, if you ask me, and the best storyline overall. If you do not start over now, you can choose to begin journey to later at the table of lost grace in front of people hold. No. <laughs> so where are we? Are we put back before the ending? Can I go for another ending again? That would be that would be great.
Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's great. So if I want, I can actually farm the endings. Great. Okay. Yeah, sure. I can do that. Not a big deal. Alright. Oh, no, I can't. Oh, god damn it. I thought I could farm the endings. <laughs> okay, so I'll still have to load my save. <laughs> that, I, that I made. I just wish I, I, I was thinking for a second that I actually made the save after beating Radagon. But I guess that boss fight is not the worst. I just have to figure out how to deal with that one ability of the second phase consistently because I have no idea. Nice! Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that's a cool, that's a cool spell. Put up the hammer. <laughs> that is such a long wind-up, holy shit. Not very usable on bosses or uh, maybe even in PvP, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Alright. Yeah. So, overall, I think it's like a 9 out of 10 game. Like, I loved it, but... I don't know. Like... Like, on one end... I'm happy they did this, right? Because it's very mass market, obviously it's sold super well. Like many more people can play it. It's like the most it's, it's the most accessible Souls games by far. Because you can farm, you know, you can you are never really stuck on any boss. You can always go back and farm and get stronger. Right? And the world building, the characters, that the and, and everything is great. Like I don't like how the continent looks like. I I don't know. I hate this idea of, I don't know, landmass. Personally, like, it's just too much water. Um, I wish this was, a, this was a part of, like, a bigger landmass or something. Not, not that this is the entire continent that looks kind of weird. Um, and the mount mountaintops felt, I don't know, a bit lacking. Um... But overall, yeah, I'm happy they did that. At the same time, I was really missing this, you know, old school design of Dark Souls and Bloodborne. With, you know, like, tense exploration, and uh, like I keep saying over and over again. And having to go from, you know, from a boss to a boss and not being able to farm so this much. Excuse me. I was missing that. And I wish there was there were more like big dungeons like Stormvale. Like Stormvale is my favorite dungeon from this game. I like, guess the first time in my favorite one. Because it is really reminiscent of, you know, like the old school souls design. Like Royal Carrier is very small. Like if you do, especially if you don't count all the secrets that you find there, like you can finish it very quickly. Like, Volcanic Manor is also, like, half, you know, ha the, like, it's very, like, this whole area here, right, is also very tiny, and it's optional, too, really, like, you don't have to do it to get the right card at all, like, it's all optional, you just go there to, to do Raya's quest, really. <sighs> Excuse me. It's all optional there. So you don't have to go through it at all, right? And it's very small. I thought this was gonna be bigger, but it's very small too. And again, optional. Like the Halic tree is not that big. All things considered. Lanedale itself, yeah. It's kind of weird because it's a city. So you don't feel, you don't really feel that. 
the Ghastly Dungeon thing. The Depths, the Subterran Shining Grounds were cool. Although, again, they weren't that big. At some point, you just take eleva Elevator down and that's it, right? They, they were kind of confusing, but they were in, at, in the end, they were not that big. Is there anything else? Yeah, that's it. Right? There, there wasn't much. Oh, yeah, uh, sorry. And um, this Paramazola. Just decent. That's good. I wish there was like hidden boss there. <laughs> but I wanted more, like more and bigger. Like, when I heard that they are doing like open world souls, what I thought is. I thought it's going to be more like, more like Shadow of the Colossus, where we have open world, but the whole point of the open world is to get us to the next huge dungeon, huge Souls-like location that we're gonna explore, and and the benefit of the open world is that you know th th there can be more world building and we can choose where we go, but ultimately it's going to be mostly focused on ex you know this Souls exploration we know and love, but it was actually like. More like Skyrim, like open world, right? And there were still the Legacy Dungeons, but they were fewer of them than I expected there would be, and they were smaller than I than I hoped they would be. Oh yeah, and we still and we had yeah, Redmain Castle was also tiny, right? <laughs> Wasn't really a dungeon. It's no bigger than like Fort. Ugh. Redmain Castle was as big as the Castle Morn, basically. <laughs> Maybe even smaller. Yeah, so like I said, I'm torn about this, right? Because I really like this game. It's 9 out of 10 for sure for me. But I wonder if I would, would have been more satisfied if it was more like older games, just bigger, because they had more budget and more time. Like, if you gave me, like, Dark Souls 3 or Dark Souls 1, just, you know, a bit longer, like, I don't know, 60 hours or, like, 80 hours or something. Yeah, maybe 60 would be enough, because normally it's, like, 40 hours, right? For a Souls game, it's, like, 60, 70 hours. I don't know, maybe I would have been happier? I don't know. Still very good, like I said. For all those other things, the world, the characters, the NPCs, like, the boss design, like I said, it was very hit and miss for me. Like, you had the super cool bosses every now and again. And in, in between, you have this, you know, generic copy-paste <laughs> of million ulcerated spirits and Earth Tree Guardians, Black Knife Assassins, Watchdogs, <laughs> and stuff. There's a bit too many of those. And once and and again, why this kind of design feels at odds to me is once you get to those cool bosses, the main ones. If you are playing like me, where you where you really wanted to explore everything because it was fun to do it, not because I wanted to get overpowered or whatever, right? Once you got to those bosses, you were overpowered and you smashed through them <laughs> quite quickly, right? Like I one shot at the, the Godfrey, the first fight, the first time we fought Godfrey. Like, Morgoth wasn't really too much of a trouble either, because I was so overpowered. Like, kinda same with Renala, kinda same with Godric, almost, right? Like, there were only few bosses I really struggled with. Malenia, for obvious reasons. Because <laughs> she's insane. Maliketh was hard. I guess no matter the level, like, I really struggled with the second phase. Um, Radan, yeah, Radan is hard too. But I think I was doing Radan slightly under leveled actually. Then you could, then you could have could be doing it, doing him. Because I was doing him like at sixty or seventy or something. Uh, Radagon, yeah, Radagon was tough for me, although still it didn't take that long. And Godfrey, yeah, Godfrey was uh, the the real Godfrey was a bit annoying too. Especially the second phase. But that's it. <laughs> Only those, if I remember correctly, right? The rest was... 
Kind of whatever. Not too hard. I guess may maybe this weapon was just making it easier, like this thing. <laughs> so I, I, I wanted to do a second playthrough with something else. Just to see whether, whether I was carried hard by this. I probably was, to be honest. Maybe I would feel different if I had like a less OP weapon and stuff. But to be fair, it's not like I played any other Souls games when gimping myself. Like I also use fairly strong weapons and stuff. But you, you get my point, right? Like the open world design is this game falls into the same open world design like any other open world game where they want to make a critical path in a way that you can do it quickly, right? So you don't have to spend that 150 hours playing the game if you don't want to, which means that the bosses on the critical path need to be scaled to a lower level. So if you do all this exploration on the side, you'll be overpowered and you will smash through those bosses. <laughs> For the most part, anyways. So that's why, yeah. That's why I think it's a 9 out of 10 overall. I think they'll need to do some design tweaks or something. I don't know, like, I'm, I'm not a designer, right? To put it for me, for me personally, to 10 out of 10. Like, I don't know, maybe, maybe just put more money into boss design, right? And just make more unique bosses. Or make the world a tad bit smaller, right? Like, make it a bit more tight rather than go for size. Necessarily, I don't know. So I think it's gonna, it's gonna sit at 9 out of 10 right, right, right below Dark Souls 3 and Bloodborne for me, I think. I think that's how I how I feel about the game currently. All the things considered. Alright. Well, it was a great run anyways. Like I said, longest first playthrough ever in any game I played. 145 hours. My god. That is insane amount of time. <laughs> This is almost like my time spent in Dark Souls 3 and Dark Souls 2 combined, and I finished both of those games twice. Which is insane. It's like four Souls games in one, basically. In terms of pure length, at, at the very least. Oh, and also, I, I, I also kind of was nit nitpicking, I guess, that I couldn't find a good-looking armor set I'd be fully happy with. Like, I'm not fully happy with this. Or weapon I would be super happy with somehow in this huge game, <laughs> so that is also interesting. But yeah, loved it, loved the loved the game, and man, and doing this playthrough as well was a, was a challenge. Jesus, like 145 hours of of recordings, uploading, all that. That is insane. <laughs> that's a good it was a good practice, that's for sure, <laughs> in doing like a lot of. Making a lot of videos, a lot of uploads, and very long recordings and playthroughs and stuff. Alright, well, if you stuck with me through all those videos, thank you for watching, I guess. Hope you enjoyed at least a little bit of my very amateur Let's Play of a Souls game. And yeah, this is Ben. I enjoyed Elden Ring. See ya!